Australian escapade and I've already found a city I can get used to. The Gold Coast is a glorious stretch of laid-back beaches buzzing with water sports. If you are an early bird, catch the sunrise while walking on the cool sands. Or simply gaze out of your window at the expanse of blue water, a cool cocktail by your side. the tallest residential tower in the world. It's called the Q1 Spawn Resort and I'm here at Q Bar. Now there's this wonderful observation desk on the 77th floor and we can look right around 360 degrees. I can see the Pacific Ocean on one side, the Gold Coast on the other and so the drink I'm going to make today is dedicated to this wonderful place and I'm going to call it Q Bar on the Gold Coast. On the Gold Coast. All right. I have here with me a very tall bartender. So you can see I'm looking up to him. Yeah? That's correct. All right. And uh, we're going to yeah. put this together. We are indeed. All right. So that you are. You're going to help me with this one? I will. I'm a little not used to your bar. <laughs> but however, I think we should survive. OK, start with the mixing glass. And I'm going to get some ice in. And as always, my take on a great cocktail is if you start with a lot of ice first and pour your ingredients on the ice, the drink gets off to a really cold start and then your work of getting a great cocktail gets done far quickly. Now of course I'm going to use the local rum. It's a rum that has made Australia famous and vice versa as well. So, local rum and that is a rum that I really like. Popularly called Bundy, and that's a fair measure. I'm generous because I want this drink to have that punch. <laughs> it's not going to be watered down, all right? The We're no not going to water it down. We're just going to get all the flavors coming in together and push it up a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of mango flavor, so a little mango liqueur, not too much, just enough to get the sweetness and the flavor in. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of frangelico, hazelnut liqueur. So in goes a little bit of the frangelico. Now of course we've got to give it the zest. And so I'm going to squeeze the lime in. Okay, I'm just going to squeeze it all in like that. That's the glass. I'm not going to strain it out. Okay. All right. I just want it all to go in. Look at that. I'm so good. That's good. That's a good portion. You don't yeah. impress. I haven't forgotten. So here we are. I make it look better. And so, what I would like to do is to get a little wedge of pineapple. Stick in a cherry. Just a little bit. Like that. So we're sticking a couple of short straws. And there we have it. 